Welcome back guys. I am here with a refrigeration clean out declutter spring clean video and organization. So this is what we are dealing with currently. It is a disaster. Um, it's been some time since I've done this so it's well overdue. So um, join me while I clean this sucker out. So of course we have to start out by clearing out the fridge. I'm just going in and taking out absolutely everything out of this fridge because I want to start with a clean slate, a clean fridge, and then I can properly keep the things that I need and um, throw out the things that I don't need and make sure things are not expired. It's funny because I always thought my fridge was kind of small, but once I took out all this food out of there, like literally my entire kitchen was like full of stuff, like the counters. So this fridge does have a pretty good capacity. Okay, here we are with the empty fridge. So here I'm just taking out um, the shelves on the sides. One thing I really, really appreciate about this fridge is pretty much every piece um, is removable. And that makes it super easy to keep clean because I can just take out whatever piece needs to be clean and I can just wash it and then put it right back in. And all I'm using is just dish soap. The dish soap that I use is Method. So I'm just using that dish soap to wash these um, containers. And then I'm just using my sponge and hot water. So from far away, the fridge doesn't look that bad, but it actually is pretty dirty and you will see with the close up. So here you can see minor spills and dirt. Um, so I'm just gonna use this method cleaner to clean out this surface of the um, refrigerator. So right about here, I realized that I could just take the shelves out instead of trying to clean the fridge with them in there. So I took them out 
and again I just use soap and water to wash off all the shelves um, I ended up laying a towel out on my kitchen island to lay all the pieces to dry So here's the fridge with every single piece removed and I'm just gonna go in and clean out the little areas that I see that have like crumbs and little food bits using the same cleaner. Okay, so now the fridge is completely clean and fresh. I love starting out on a blank slate. So now it's time for the fun part for the organization and prepping. In case you guys are interested in any of the equipment that you see here or even the fridge, I've linked everything down below. Um, all the organization tools you can find in my Amazon storefront. So I know you can't really tell, but you'll see here in a minute, my fridge is actually kind of shallow. I don't know if that's the right word, but when you see me put this container in there, it won't fit all the way, but it fits enough to where I can still close the fridge. So while most of the components in my fridge are made out of plastic, you'll be seeing me use mainly glass if I can help it. Um, we try to limit the amount of plastic we use in our household, so pretty much all our food containers are glass. Um, I do have, I think, maybe one or two um, containers or organizers for the fridge that are plastic because it is really hard to find non-plastic organization materials that can go in your fridge and not be ruined. So luckily I was able to find these containers with the bamboo tops, but it's just really hard to find. So if anyone knows of any products like silicone, glass, um, wooden, that also will hold up in the fridge because you have to take in consideration the condensation please let me know
So these are some of the plastic organizers I purchased. My fridge is not tall enough as you can see. They are stackable and that's what really drew me to them. And then they have a drawer that you can pull out and I think they'd be easier to open if you stack them or just have heavier foods in there. But for now I'm just going to put them side by side in my fridge. So I purchased this mandolin from Ikea. It's like the perfect tool for cucumbers and we love cucumbers in our house. And I specifically love super thin sliced cucumbers. So this works really well for that. It's adjustable to where you can change the thickness of what you're slicing. So I will try to link this and I definitely recommend getting one. So I just want to take the time here to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy this type of video, please comment and let me know so I can know what type of content to make for you guys. Um, I love all things home, so that includes organization and of course interior design and decor. But yeah, just let me know what you think. And please do not hesitate to subscribe. So this drink organizer right here is a little bit too big. I don't know if you can see here, my fridge is shallow, but I can still close it. So we're just gonna make it work. We are finally done with the fridge guys so here I have my salad dressings and my sauces over here up here I have my miscellaneous jarred things areas for butter and other dairy and then just some other sauces jelly syrup stuff like that there and then of course my milk section with my snack cheeses in there and then here is all my fruit, veggies, eggs, a um, couple of Trader Joe's staples, salad area here, um, cheese and meat section here, and then a, just a couple of packaged miscellaneous things that I have that fit perfectly in there. So it is plastic, I really love this egg organizer because it makes it so easy to just pull out an egg versus pulling a whole carton of eggs out. Um, and I also love this drink organizer, it just makes it look so neat and it's grab and go. And here I like that I can put my containers for like leftovers and meal prep and things like that. So the way this fridge is configured, I have plenty of space for extra items. I am so glad that I did this project. Um, it was well needed. I realized that I am a condiment hoarder. So I'm so happy I got to clear out all the extra stuff that we don't even use or need in a refrigerator. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, again, please subscribe, don't hesitate, and 
comment if you have any suggestions or if you liked it just tell me what you think until next time stay blessed